Once you've finished both of your illustrations, the final step in the process is to prepare your work for presentation. You can put your name on the cover sheet, you can put the project on the cover sheet, and when you go to present it to someone, they will really show that you've put your effort into not only the illustrations that you've done, but also showing them that you care about your artwork. Some of the materials that you'll need to create a uh, cover sheet are, of course, you'll need some scissors, you'll need some tape, I like to use the thick masking tape, you'll need some double-sided tape to put your image onto a mat board, you'll need, your, of course, your image and mat board, and a large piece of paper. Once you have your image mounted to the mat board, take your large piece of paper and place it over the image itself. You'll want to cut the paper so that it's slightly longer than the, uh, the mat board your artwork is mounted to. Okay, here's a lower adit at the Victorine mine. I believe this was an older mine that once they dug the upper tunnels, this got incorporated into the same uh, claim or whatever. Uh, this, I forget, what, I forget what this was called, this particular mine entrance here, but uh, this one's got a little bit of water in it coming out of it. Not much. I'm going here and just take a quick look. I don't think I'm going to explore this particular mine. There's a little bit too much water in, in here, and uh, I know this mine is really old. Okay, here's a shot looking down the attic from just inside the portal. And uh, some water here and there. So I'll go up here just a little bit further and see if it dries out any. Okay, a little further inside the tunnel here. Um, and there's still water. Uh, you can see it really flowing here in front of me, right here, and it's coming out here, out the tunnel. Yeah, this looks pretty uh, sketchy. I'll go a few feet further in and check it out, but I think I'm going to pass on this one. This is one of the uh, creepiest mine tunnels uh, I've ever uh, been in, just because of how uh, dilapidated it is and all these chains hanging down from the overhead, and there's a shot looking down the tunnel even further, but still pretty wet. And uh, taking a look around here back at the entrance, which is there. Okay, here's a, here's a shot looking back towards the entrance. I'm a little bit further in. And uh, looking down the tunnel here. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm going to head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, too muddy. Um, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing. So, time to get the hell out of here.
Okay, I was standing at the bottom of the tailings for the Victorine mine. This is looking straight up the mountainside at all these tailings. And uh, the Victorine mine is up there on top of the ridge. You can't see from down here, obviously. And the Horton mine is over here to the right. And that's where I'm headed. The Horton mine still has some water um, coming out of it. You can see it kind of pulled up here outside. And uh, here's the uh, portal. So let's go check this out. See if it's any drier than it was uh, a year ago when I was last here. So this tunnel is very sketchy and it still has a very, very creepy vibe. But uh, we'll keep going forward. Okay, I'm uh, further in than I was a year ago. And um, that's how far I've come. Getting deeper, here is some kind of uh, backfilled area on the other side of the tunnel. More ventilation tubing. And there's a lot of water up here coming in from somewhere. Well, I believe I've reached the end of the tunnel. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than this. Uh, I'd read 600 feet. Um, here's looking back at the portal. I don't know if that's 600 feet or not, but uh, maybe more like 400. But I think the uh, water is coming down the ore pass, the vertical shaft here at the end of the tunnel. So let me make my way over there with all this mud and check it out. Okay, right there is where the water's coming from. And um, right above that, you can see the metal ore chute that is part of the ore pass coming down there at an angle. And that came down right over here to this horizontal section right here. And then the ore was probably dumped out into the waiting tram car. And then they would just haul it out the tunnel in these motorized uh, tram cars to the portal. Okay, you can see some ladders there going up. There's one right there going up at an angle. And then there's one right above the ore chute right there. I don't know if there was a manway in the ore pass or not. There probably was. And uh, that would probably go up about 800, 900 feet to the opening that's outside the Victorine mine. And right here is the uh, end of the uh, ore pass. Um, you can see a grizzly in there, the bars. And uh, that would hold back the rocks that were too big to fit through, while the smaller rocks would tumble through into the tram car that would wait right here, and then it would drive it right out the tunnel. Okay, here's a final parting shot of the end of the Horton Tunnel. And uh, there's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and um, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that was, but uh, there was a sudden blast of cold air, and uh, I'm getting out of here. Hey guys, uh, I'll do a video day, do a little bit of an experiment. I've had some kind of weird stuff happening in my apartment here lately. My girlfriend's out of town. Uh, but uh, every time we go to bed, we end up seeing some strange stuff. Things aren't where it's supposed to be. There's not a 
doors that are open that we know that we close, like our bedroom. Uh, just weird things that we can't explain. And she's on vacation, so I decided that I would try to investigate this while she's gone because she gets creeped out by ghosts and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to show you all the house and kind of show you what's going on. Show you that this is all pretty legit stuff. So let's check it out. As you can see, it's the main hallway. It's the laundry room. Cool stuff, right? Laundry room, you can see in there. I ain't going to open that other door because this place creeps me out. Bathroom. All the bathroom stuff. Yeah, we'll be... And here's the spare bedroom. Uh, air mattress, awesome. Closet, also awesome. And where we've seen most of the stuff happen is right here in the bedroom. It's kind of weird. Maybe that whatever it is has a thing. It's the bedroom. I'll show you everything and I will back out to show you that I have no nothing to hide that's behind the door that's the closet the side of the closet there's nothing in this closet okay here is the bathroom this is me this is the bathtub that is behind the door there and once again as you can see there's nobody here just me in this whole house I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna go over here and shut off these lights though. Gotta save electricity. Open that. And turn off that. And still, as you can see, nobody come behind us. Nobody's here. Behind this door, just in case any of y'all's wondering, everything is empty. And I'm gonna walk backwards just to show you this ain't a trick. Some kind of weird stuff. I guess some absolutely weird crazy stuff going on in this house i think so we're going to uh we're going to film it and hopefully i can give you all something to look at and i'm going to mount you right here on this camera stand and maybe we can get something on tape anyways guys i'm gonna turn out the lights i'll leave the uh, i'm gonna leave some of the lights on because i'm actually kind of scared of this place <laughs> And then I'm going to go to bed and turn this light off and hell, I don't know. I guess that's good, right guys? What do you think? Nah, we'll turn. I guess we'll turn. We'll just leave the hallway light on. Alright. Hopefully we'll see something in the morning. What the fuck was that? Fuck. The hell? Hold on, guys. What the hell was that shit? Oh, shit. Let's not do that. Fuck. Yeah, 
y'all see y'all thought this was a bunch of shit, man. The hell? Fuck that light was on. See guys, that's the shit I'm talking about. Right here. Closing this door just to prove there's shit going on. This house, man. Nobody there. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Nobody anywhere. It's creepy, guys. It's extremely creepy. All right, guys. I, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go uh, stay at a friend's house tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, about to go to bed again. I've been filming the bedroom for the past three nights and uh, haven't had any luck. So we're gonna swap up the rooms a little bit, check out the living room. Some crazy stuff's been happening here lately, so we're gonna see if we can catch something. I haven't had anything good in the past three nights, so we'll check it out. And I'll be sure to edit most of this, like all that delay time. I know my first video was kind of long because I showed y'all everything, but uh, anyways, this time uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of show you what happens if there is anything that happens. Hope there's not, but if there is, at least it's entertaining, I guess. It scares shit out of me. And uh, after doing some research, it's not a ghost in my apartment. It apparently is a demon. Yeah, it's not cool. But anyways, guys, good night. I'll see you in the morning. I hope I'll see you in the morning. Let's put it that way. Hey guys, uh, we're back again filming another video of uh, a little bit of uh, paranormal activity in my apartment or a ghost, demon, whatever. So I'm going to do my normal thing. I'm going to film the uh, room. Maybe things will, won't be too bad, but be interesting. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Just filming another, hopefully, activity session. Had anything in a few nights? It's been, uh, it's been kind of crazy. I had, uh, I had a small bit of activity, but the lighting 
was so bad on my camera, it, it doesn't even look like anything, so there was no point in really posting that. We're just gonna film this area. I've been filming everywhere in the house. I only have one camera. I know y'all are like begging me to get another camera, but I just don't have it, so I don't have the money for it either. But guys, have a good night, see you in the morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, just filming another little paranormal session, hopefully. Uh, last one we got was really good, but I filmed the kitchen for the past three or four nights and I haven't had a freaking thing happen, so I don't know about that. I'm gonna go to sleep and maybe we can get something, but hopefully it's not as crazy as last time because that was kind of kind of creepy and a little scary and dangerous, so. Anyways, we're gonna film the room as usual. Everything. Try to show y'all everything. Show y'all in here. Bathroom again, there's me. There's everything. And tub. And everything up around. I know I've had a lot of comments about everything. I appreciate all the good comments. And I know there was going to be some criticism with all videos. But I'm making it for the people that actually believe in this stuff. And I am now a believer when I used to not be. So here we go. So let me just get the pipes. And since we are uh, done with the bathroom, okay, and I will see y'all in the morning. Oh, it's really hard to sleep with the backlight, of course.
What is that? Grab a camera, guys. Oh, I can't get off this pod. The hell? Doesn't look like anything's in here, guys. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Um, filming just another session. If not, I know y'all probably watched all my videos by now, so you all know how things work. Uh, I'm gonna answer a few questions. The first question is about my girlfriend. She did move out, she hasn't been here in a little while, and we're not gonna go into detail with that. Uh, second thing is the uh, Babe powder and everything like that. I like the idea. I'm gonna do it. I just have to decide if I want to start cleaning it up or not. And the third thing was the paranormal investigator. Uh, I haven't found anybody again. The guy that ditched, uh, pretty much uh, bitched out <laughs> on this. And uh, I saw him looking still, but uh, eventually I'll get somebody and uh, we'll go from there. But, anyways. I'm going to go to bed, and I will see y'all in the morning, and maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, just filming another little session. Uh, let's um, say I haven't had really had anything lately. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary that y'all haven't seen before. Just minor things moving and stuff like that. Uh, I've had a lot of activity in the bathroom, as y'all have seen. Uh, so I get, somebody submitted the idea, hey, why don't we film in front of a mirror? So I was like, well, the bathroom would be a good place since we have a lot of activity in here usually. Uh, but Anyways, I haven't caught anything in here in a while, but we're going to try it and see what happens. So, I guess I'll see you in the morning, if I make it. But, uh, maybe we'll get some. Good night. Hey everybody, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, just filming another little uh, session, hopefully. Uh, I haven't caught anything in a while. I'm giving y'all kind of an aerial view today. It's about the best I could do. Somebody said they want to see everything from up high, and I was like, well, 
how the heck am I going to do that? But uh, we'll try it out, see what happens. Uh, looking into getting another camera soon. Uh, hopefully, I say maybe within next month, maybe for Christmas. I don't know. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, we'll see what we get and if we get anything. So uh, I'll see you all in the morning and uh, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys.